Hi, I hope that you are extremely good. On this lesson, I'm going to teach you factorization. And the first thing that I want you to know and understand is what is to factorize. To factorize is to take out common factors, which will be the highest common factor. Right. Let us do an example so that you completely understand what we mean by factors here. Let's say you have got 10xy plus 15bx like this. Then you are asked to factorize. How do you factorize here? You remove highest common factor of 10xy and 15bx. That is to factorize as I told you. And what is the highest common factor here? It's uh, 5 x that is our highest common factor so this will be equal to 5x and remember as you'll be calculating you'll be dividing by your highest common factor so if you say 10 xy divided by 5x you're going to remain with 2y plus you do the same here and you remain with 3b remember as i always tell you that there is no mathematical solution that can be proved if you want to prove this you just expand you see that your answer would be this one 5x times 2y, that would be 10xy. And 5x times 3b, that would be 15bx or xb. It's one and the same thing. So, this is how you prove factorization. You just expand something that you could have factorized on that question. Let us do another example. Let's say you have got something like... Um, 20 m x minus let's say 100 b like this is it possible to factorize this yes it is what is our highest common factor here it is just 20 so here you remain with uh you remain with uh, mx minus 5b. That will be a final answer. You are going to notice as well that if you expand this, 20 times mx, it will be 20mx. Then 20 times negative 5b, it will be 100b. That will be your, your proof. Right, let us do last example. Let's do last example. Let's say you have got something like this. Okay, someone maybe is asking what if you have got three terms? Yes, it's possible even when you have three terms to factorize. Let's say you have um, 6 by plus 9 bx minus 21 bm like this. Minus 21 bm. Is it possible to factorize this? Yes, it is because we have got common factors. You won't be asked to factorize something that won't be or that you couldn't factorize. That is what I'm trying to say. You can't be asked or you won't be asked to factorize something that is not possible to factorize. Right? So here our highest common factor on all the three terms, it is 3b. Here, if you divide 6by by 3b, it will be 2y plus, if you divide here, it will be 3x minus, if you divide here, it will be 7m. And as I always tell you, there is no mathematical solution that can be proved. So let's prove this. How do we prove this? We prove it by expanding. So 3b times 2y, that is 6by. And 3b times 3x, that is 9bx. 3b times negative 7m, that will be negative 21bm. Proved. So this is how you prove factorization. I hope that you completely understand how to factorize. If you want to know how to factorize quadratics or difference of two squares, I have good news for you. You just go on YouTube, you type sample of tv and you write difference of two squares you see how to factorize or how to simplify difference of two squares the same with quadratic how to factorize quadratic you just type uh sample of tv and you write factorizing quadratic
on Sam of TV or on YouTube. I hope that you are extremely good and you completely understand how to factorize. If you benefited, let me know on the comment section. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. And also tell others that you know that they are struggling with mathematics. My wish and prayer is for you to understand and pass mathematics with a distinction. Remember, as I always tell you, mathematics was easy, is easy, and shall be always easy, if and if only you stay focused. So you should stay focused.